Wow, I have a tired arm from drawing all those stars. Counting large numbers of objects helps children learn about our place value system. Jonathan responds confidently when Carol asks how to count the stars. What shall we do? Uh, count by tens. Okay, and how will we do that? This circle ten, and then said ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Jonathan, I'm going to ask you some questions that are going to help me understand what you know about math. So what I'd like you to do first is take this cup of tiles and just spread them out on the table in front of you. And then what I'd like you to do is arrange them so you, they're into groups of 10. And I'd like you to count out loud so I can hear what's going on in your head. One, two, three, four. Five, you don't have to worry about them. Pile. You don't have to worry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's great. And you have enough to make another group of 10? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so you have two groups of ten. How many extra tiles do you have? Four. Four. Do you know how many tiles there are all together? I'll count them. Anyway, what were you starting to do there, though? Okay. You can do it out loud so I can hear. Ten, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Can you write that number twenty-four kind of big on the paper for me? Twenty. Twenty-four. So you wrote the four first, but you knew the two were there. Let me say, we have twenty-four tiles here. Suppose I said to you, I only want you to have sixteen. How many tiles? How could you fix, solve the problem of taking some tiles away so you only have sixteen left? And I want the extra ones put back in the cup. How are you going to do this? So I just want 16 tiles out here. 16 tiles? Mm-hmm. Great. Can you write that under the 24 just as big as you wrote the 24? 16. 16. One, six, four, six. Well, 16, what do you think? What's, what's going on in your head? <laughs> Tell me, because I need to... What did you, you write? 16, yeah, that's right. And you wrote a 1 and a 6. Can you show me with the tiles what the 6 means when you write the 6 in a number like this? You can use those tiles, because there are your 16 tiles that we have all together. And this is the number for 16. So what is the 6? Show me with the tiles what the 6 means. Six means... You use these tiles here. Okay. Okay, what, what do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm interested as to how do you know to write a one and a six to mean 16. So I thought maybe you'd start by telling me what does the six mean, and what does the one mean, and how to come together that means 16. Well, sometimes, in my reason, in in like the star thing, uh -huh. um, my reason is you count, you put it in tens, and then you you count tens, and then and then there's some left over. So, like um, the probably the right side of the thing means the ones what are left over, and the other side means how many tens. Let's you try got. it and see. So, how many left over there? Left over here. Or what? No, left over in the number on the right side. If you put this into tens, and do you have any leftovers with the 16? Probably. What do you think? How many leftovers do you think you'd have? Uh, well, uh, maybe three or Try around there. Try it and see. Ten. And how many leftovers? Six. Yeah, see, that's what I, oh, I, I thought when you said those over there, you meant that number over there. See that number over there, six? That's how I knew there were going to be six leftovers. <laughs> I thought about that.